Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to Let's Try Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid is an indie zombie survival game that I have to say, when I, uh, I didn't know much about it until recently, and when I saw a little demo of it, I was really, really impressed by the depth of gameplay that's in here. Now, it's still very much in alpha, it's still being developed very, very actively. You can buy it as is, it costs about $8 USD, and uh, frankly, I think it's a great looking project that I'm very excited to see how it goes. So I'm going to do a quick little run through here, and uh, maybe at some point later when the game is uh, even more complete, we might come back to it for a full uh, Let's Play, frankly, because it's, it's pretty compelling. So, right now there are two gameplay modes, there's survival and sandbox, and the only difference between the two is when you go sandbox, and we uh, name our save, sandbox1. There's Currently there's only one map in the game, in uh, Mildra, Kentucky, population 3566, it's a small town in the area the locals know, that, know as Knox Country, the dead center of the state of Kentucky. It's interesting that they spelled center in the... Uh, the sort of UK-ish Canadian way, as opposed to the American way there. It grew up as an army town, but now welcomes folks from all walks of life. Some commuters to the bigger towns nearby, some military families, and some living below the poverty line. It's a small place filled with good people. Well, not anymore. Not to mention Spitbo's finest chicken and biscuits, this side of Kentucky. Sure, not much happens here, but that doesn't mean a Mildra life is dull. So, the actual sandbox option screen is this, and if you don't touch anything, it should be exactly the same as just clicking on survival. But it's quite compelling that they've offered, uh, you know, a lot of different difficulty settings, uh, changes in ways to distribute the zombies. Uh, later on, there will be other survivors added, and then we can sort of respond to, to how they are. Maybe they'll be nice, maybe they won't be so nice. This reminds me a lot of... Um, Oh, what's the game called? Rogue Survivor? Let me do a quick little googling over here. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yes, Rogue Survivor, which is a uh, roguelike zombie survival game. Um, it, it definitely has a similar kind of vibe to me in my head. Uh, day length, so right now one hour of real time will be one day. You can also set it to actual real time, uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it on one hour, which is a reasonable default. So we're going to start in July at 9 a.m. And the world, when does the water and electricity shut off in the world, therefore dooming you to your own devices and how rare is the loot? You can also, in the survival, or sandbox mode rather, you can tweak the actual zombie mechanic as well as uh, how quickly they develop in the world because they will start off pretty crappy and then build up over time. So anyway, we're going to uh, gonna hit play and uh, we get our, our survivor the first time around. We've been uh, randomly generated to have Mary Harris, a lady of um, indistinct age and body type. I think we can just have light skin or dark skin. Actually, it doesn't seem to be going at all. In fact, some of the text is a little a little off here, which could be, I mean, there's going to be a lot of that because it is still in an alpha, an early alpha. Um, Actually, I don't think any of these buttons are working, which is really weird because I was pretty sure that it was working before. Maybe it's something to do with the recording or the resolution. So, anyway, there we have it. We're just going to be Mary Harris, I suppose, and that's going to be fine. We're going to hit next. And then we get to choose our traits, and this is when I got really excited about this game. Uh, you can choose your occupation, and the occupation... The occupations are nothing but straight benefits to you. Um, going unemployed does not give you anything extra at this time other than may maybe extra difficulty. Uh, you can combine that with taking a bunch of negative traits. So for example, light drinker and clumsy and short-sighted. And it just, this just makes the game harder if you want to do that. Now, the advantage, of course, of taking negative traits is that you can use these to offset positive traits. For example, we could... So we're light drinker, clumsy, and short-sighted, which I just kind of picked at random. Um, you know what, I'm going to take away short-sighted because I don't like the idea of having less vision. Um, so let's go with this and then let's combo it with something that's got three points. For example, maybe we'll be brave, right? So we're less likely to get panicked, uh, but we do that, of course, by, by drinking as much as possible. And uh, we're going to combine that with uh, maybe being a previously a fire officer because that way we've got the Axeman ability. So we can break through doors faster with the axe, and we can swing axes faster. So well, Mary Harris was a fire officer, and we're going to try to find her an axe as quickly as we can. Uh, and possibly some booze, because apparently, you know, she's got a problem with that. And that would be funny to get her, drink, to get her drunk. All right, let's play. These are the end times. I do like this intro. I think it's quite good. I really like the font they use, too. i got to track this down. There was no hope of survival. This part probably needs a voiceover. Bump, 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 bump. And it sounds cool. I got the volume pretty low. Hopefully you can pick up some of it. This is how you died. That's what I like. Like, the assumption is not that you survive. In fact, like, as with many roguelikes, especially open-ended ones and things like Dwarf Fortress, 
you, there's no there's no in this, there's no win condition. It's just a question of how long you go before you actually die. So here we are. We are Mary Harris. We've started in a house, and I think I can move around with the uh, numpad. Nope. W A S D. Yeah, W A S D. There we are. So we can move around like that. We can uh, we can pause the game if we want to. So if we've, the game is paused, we can't interact with anything, but we can sort of think about our situation. We can check our inventory. We did start with a baseball bat, which is pretty exciting. We've got pants, shoes, and a sweater on, and we can look at the stuff nearby here to loot. There's a butter knife, which we can use as a weapon. We can also use a spoon as a weapon. I don't think it's a very good weapon. Uh, there are seeds, because apparently, at first you're just trying to, like, literally survive. Find a little bit of water, a little bit of food, and keep yourself going for a while. Uh, but it is entirely possible to, like, build an entire farming community in this game. And apparently that's that's the sort of end game, or maybe even just middle game, right? So there's the initial sort of scrounging for stuff, and then they're setting up a, a permanent base somewhere. Uh, especially, I think I figure once the uh, water supply and electricity falls off, you're really going to want to find yourself a source of fresh water and just hold yourself up there. Meanwhile, the zombies are constantly getting more numerous and more powerful. So uh, we're probably going to loot all here. Can we just click that? No. Can we click that? Nope. That doesn't seem to work either. Uh, that just closed that window. Let me unpause the game and then try again. The user interface is definitely questionable as is. Um, a apparently A loots all. All right. It also moves me, which is which is quite awkward. A, A, no, no, nope, that doesn't work at all. Maybe we'll just uh, that expands everything. This collapses everything, so we can click on things and then right click and then grab, and that enables us to loot us. So certainly there appears to be you know some missing functionality. So there's one little green loop that goes for everything that goes by. I don't even know if we need a kettle. What's this? Heavy load. The kettle is apparently too heavy. Well, it's not that heavy. What we really need is to start putting things in our containers. So we grabbed one plastic bag, which doesn't seem like a very effective container, but uh, apparently it is going to work. So we can drag things over into that. Uh, put the forks, everything we don't need, like instantly we're going to put in there. Um, I don't know why that took so much longer to pack with the butter knives. Can opener kettle yeah so we're no longer overloaded so we can carry eight items um presumably there's also a a weight measurement i don't know zombies killed survivors killed let's pause again here while we look at some of these stats um our traits career skills so there will be more skills we can get carpentry cooking farming blunt blade aiming and reloading uh, but everyone knows that in a good zombie movie, you don't use guns. You beat people with baseball bats and axes. Sprinting, light-footed, nimble, and sneaking. Overall health, everything is groovy. Uh, I don't know what these circles do. They don't appear to do anything at this time. And then, of course, there's the inventory as well. So, um, yeah, I can't right-click and do anything here. So I've got to gotta unpause the game and then go back to doing this. We're definitely going to grab the beans. Can I drag things directly from, into my bag? No, apparently they've... Can I pin this to stay open? That would be pretty handy if I could. Oh, that works. Uh, roasting pan, sure. How much room can, do I have in here? Oh, it's now full, so that's as much as we can do. I, I guess I'm not going to prioritize the spoon. Um, the beans, pretty important. Uh, instant popcorn, sure. Matches sound really good. Another plastic bag, which is going to be great. Uh, the fridge. What's in the fridge? Oh, yeah, nice. You know what? We're going to use this other bag over here for food. Our second bag. Um, popcorn. Beans. Bread. I don't know if it goes bad or not. Okay, anything in this cabinet over here? No, just more spoons. So I might have missed some, but it's not necessarily the end of the world. Um, all right, so we've got uh, light switches that we can't interact with. And we also have windows. Now, you'll notice now we can see outside. The thing looks great. Do we have mail? But the thing is, if there happens to be a zombie that walks by, they can also see us. So one of the things we'll want to do here is close the curtains. Our vision will fade, showing that we've got a uh, line of sight or fog of war. Uh, this window on the door apparently does not count as a, as a window. 
so we don't have to worry about it. Surprise, we can't, you know, lock it, open it. All right, we can do that. Uh, curtains were already closed there, which is good. Is there a door here? Oh, there is. Got a little laundry room with another door. Okay, we'll just leave. Oops, wrong button. Come on, close the door. What do I got now? Unpleasantly hot. Consider resting somewhere less exposed. I'm inside a house. What is Kentucky in, what, July? The problem is, like, how am I supposed to get somewhere cooler than this? Would it help if I drank some water? No. Nope. Oh, this is bad. If I'm already getting too hot, can I use the TV? Okay, there's backyard. There's no curtains on these windows. So let's go upstairs and check there. There's probably going to be some more lootables. Ah, there we go. Sheets in particular. We want to grab some of those. Comb bleach. I don't know what we do with bleach. There's lots of it here, though. Lipstick, I think we'll pass. We'll grab this other sheet. We will close these curtains. Open this door. What do we got in here? More sheets, good. We've also got some clothing. We'll be able to... Very heavy load, yeah. Um, we'll be able to tear this stuff into... Um, into bandages. I guess we'll have to unload some more things into here. There, we'll put all our sheets in here. Boom, 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 and boom. Good. We've got a bed we can sleep on. And another door over here. Window is all closed, which is great. I suppose we can open it for a second, just peek outside. And then close it again. All right. I don't even know if this is our house or what. Okay, so we have a window here. And there's no curtain. So actually what we have to do is we have to take the sheets, move them into the main inventory. We'll put something else in the other bag. Presumably we're wearing some of these things. I guess we'll just walk slowly for now. It's going to be fine. So we're going to add a sheet to the window, create curtains, and then we can close them. There. We'll do the same thing in the back over here. I'm definitely moving slower. Add sheet. And close. Add sheet. And close. Good. All right. So I'm no longer overweighted. Everything is fine. It's now 1.30 in the afternoon. So what do I want to do? Do I want to go outside? This is my safe house. I've got food. I've got water from the sink. How come there's no sink in the kitchen, actually? All right. I mean, but there's water in the, um, in the bathroom upstairs. Still, it seems like it seems like we should go out, right? It's still daytime. What could possibly go wrong during the day? We've got a barbecue. We've got a doghouse. Is there anything in here? No. I'm still uncomfortably hot. Which, I, I feel like maybe I should stay inside. The problem is my house is too hot. I guess it just means I'm going to need a lot more water. <gasps> For fuck's sake, that was a zombie. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, excuse me. Holy crap. You know, I should probably play this with a webcam, but I'm actually sitting in my dark basement playing this. Okay, so, alright. Um, now, we can equip our baseball bat. I don't actually know how to swing it. Uh, options. Aim left control. Run with left shift. Toggle UI, toggle inventory, health pain, music, hotkeys, equip, unequip. Oh, there we are. Hold control and I sort of go into aggressive stance. I don't actually know how to swing, so I'm probably going to die when I first... Frack's sake! It's a good thing I have decent vision. Okay. Um... Should I take on the one zombie? Like, I, I, I've i literally never played this game before. I only know the tiniest little bit from the intro. Um, I'm thinking I might try to take on the one zombie over there. Try to get to that other house. Yeah, this guy here. Is there anything in the mailbox? No. Oh, there's another one over there, too. Son of a bitch. 
All right, we're going to try a hand at combat, because why not, right? Oh, there was more than one. And the thing is, when we start fighting, I'm willing to bet more of them are going to get attracted. Oh, okay. Hold control, and it holds the bat up, and then you actually click on someone to swing. I'm now panicked. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Shoving, shoving, shoving. Shoving, shoving. Probably gonna get too tired. Oh fuck, there's another one coming too. I'm gonna get tired at some point. And I'm running in the middle of the day. I have no idea if I was even damaging him. Okay. So, that went poorly. How's my health? Slight damage. God damn it. Alright, let's, um... We had some extra clothes in one of these, didn't we? Do I hear, like, someone slamming against the door? Oh. They're trying to break in. Here, we're gonna tear our blouse into bandages. Hmm? Maybe... Oh, we're okay. Okay, so we really were not damaged very much at all. I'm gonna check the back door. Okay, it's fine. I I definitely hear someone slamming against things. <laughs> I'm gonna go look out the windows up top. Oh, that's a mirror. Open curtains. Close curtains. I'm gonna die, like, I'm not even gonna make a day. What am I? Thirsty, sweaty, overexposed beneath a burning sun. How am I overheated? It's 6.40, or no, it's, four, it's about 5 o'clock. You know, we're gonna nap. We're gonna come back out at night. You know, oh shit, I just heard a window break. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's in the kitchen. Alright, you. I'm panicked. Come here. Come here. Oh! I got him! Look at me! I'm a badass! Anything on the floor? No. He came in through the window? Oh yeah, the window is definitely broken. Alright, I'm fine. Right? Everything's good? Yes. Okay, so now that we've dealt with that one zombie we aggroed, now we're going to go and have a nap. Let's, uh, let's close the door. Let's go and have a quick sleep. Yes. I'm going to try to sleep through the hottest part. I think it's like hotter upstairs or something. Alright, it's now half past midnight. This is a perfect time to go, you know, roaming around in the dark, right? Can we turn on the lights? No. All right, I'm thirsty. Let's go to the uh, to the sink. Drink. I'm still insanely hot. Stupid Kentucky. Oh, why is it so dark? I have no light source. Seriously, let's, can we just sleep again? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I had some blunt skill ups, just a little bit. So I'm supposed to be brave, but I still get the panic debuff instantly. What is this? I don't know what speed that is. It's like super fast? What? Super fast until next event? We're gonna wait until... Why did the music change? Okay. We've got a little bit of light now. I have no idea if the zombies can see in the dark or not. Probably. Okay, we did kill that one, so we might be... Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so I'm panicked. What does it do? Do your best to replace... Oh, I'm slightly panicked. Whatever. Beat you up. Come on. I got this. Daha! I'm awesome. Alright, we're gonna rest for a sec. Catch your breath. Survive for 21 hours. I've killed two zombies. No survivors. Whoa, 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 whoa.
This is fine. I still need an axe, though. Oh, I'm a beast. All right, slightly panicked, but that's all. Luckily, I am brave, so I think it is helping me not to become insanely panicked. I really want to go to this house. I never closed my front door. Hold on. Yeah, I should really run when I'm outside. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, there's a zombie in... Oh, fuck, and one in the back. All right, you know what? We can... Look at him slamming against the door! Is that really weird, the front door? No, there's another one over there. All right, so the other one might come busting through the window. This one's lurching at me. He's not just... Get away! There we go. He actually rushed a little bit. I'm not even panicked. I got this. No problem. Come on, die, zo zombie old man. Mm. Gotcha. Health good. Alright. Where's this fucker? Where'd you go? Oh, there's two in here. Son of a bitch! Okay, we're going to another house. I shouldn't be running this much. I'm going to be overexerting myself. I won't be able to fight. Ah, they're all over. Let's look inside. I think there's a dead guy over there. Can I go in through the back? Oh, shite. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, and these guys are crawling towards me too. I've aggroed too many of them. Frack. All right. You know what? We're doing fine. We ain't afraid of no zombie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. The one from behind. You'll notice that the uh, line of sight matters. The way I'm facing greatly affects my available vision. Let's keep going. I am thirsty, hot, panicked, accuracy reduced. Oh, shite. Is this my house? No. I'm hot and thirsty. Probably shouldn't run too much. But I want to get inside my house. I don't have any water jugs yet. So I really can't venture too far from any actual buildings. I definitely can't go into the wilderness or anything. Okay, let's let the panic sort of die off here. Okay. Should be alright. Let's try this again. Hopefully we haven't catted, like, all the zombies in the universe to our house. Alright, punk. Come at me, bro. I really don't want to fight more than one at a time. Oh, alright. They're coming at me. Bros. Oh, three of them, of course. Ugh. Uh, oh, oh, they're moving too fast. Shite. Okay. Let's keep trying this. I mean, I'm probably taking an entirely wrong approach at this. Okay, I've already damaged this one a lot. He's got to be almost dead. Oh, God, what's this? Pain. Oh, frack. I've been injured. Die! Die! I'm definitely tiring. Okay. Run around, and then try to go inside. No! Oh! No! Oh, no! Come on! Can I go through these woods here? Very slowly, but yes. Oh. Well, that's good. Maybe we can use this to hide. How's my health? I've got a scratch on my lower torso. I've got a minor injury. Let's see if I can get inside this house. I, think, I can't remember if it had been cleared or not. Okay. Cleared-ish. Drink? I'm drowsy. Could use a lie down. Panic. First aid required. Okay, let's see if I can... Um... There you go. Apply bandages to lower torso. So I don't have an open wound anymore, but I'm still certainly hurt. I'm also tired. Oh, 
For fuck's sake! Oh no! Oh no! Die. Die! Oh, there's two of them in there? Really? Really? No, there's a third one in there too. Oh, fuck. Please have no one in front of my house so I can sneak inside here. Severe pain. Awesome. I got another scratch. I'm gonna become a zombie pretty soon. Um, apply bandage. Oops, come on. I can hear them slapping the windows. And getting in the house. Oh god, oh god, they're in a house. Have, have a quick drink? I know we don't really need it. Agony. Speed and accuracy is really reduced. And I need to sleep, but... Can't sleep, zombies will get me. Alright, you come upstairs. I don't want to fight downstairs. I want to stay away from the windows as much as possible. Well. My accuracy is low. I'm going to get injured some more. Er, er, er. Is he gone? No, he's still there. They seem to have some issues with stairs. Am I still... Come on. I just gotta finish this guy off so I can go to sleep. Ow. That doesn't sound good. Another scratch. I don't know if they're handling stairs. I might literally be able to pull off a sleep here, but there we go. Okay. Alright, what could possibly go wrong, right? Hopefully break down the panic. I'm peckish. Need some food. Pain is going down, though. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Wakey, wakey. Alright, it's dark, but hopefully that hurts them just as much as... Wait, there's more doors up here? What? No. That doesn't seem right. Is there? Oh, behind here. No. What the hell door is that? Is that on the floor below? And it's just, maybe that's what it is. And I just can't really tell because of how things are. Um, Alright, so I should have some food on me. Alright, let's eat some, uh, let's eat some bread. Unpack it and then eat it. Nom 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 nom. So that's the thing. If things are packed, it's not as easy to access. Slightly fed. Short healing and strength boost. Oh, good. My things are bandaged. Body status is pretty good shape. Okay. Feeling good. I got a, some sort of... Okay. Pop-up that was stuck open. Um, maybe... Let's, let's try going out at night. I mean, if we we're going to be accurate about things, it should be more easy to panic at night. But maybe it's going to be harder to spot me. Oh, I got a decent amount of vision. There's a zombie. Stay away from the light. I can't remember how many zombies were in the... Oh, there's a huge ton of them over there. Fuck me! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's like a trillion zombies. I should just try to stay in the house as long as possible. There's... Oh my god. I'm 100% gonna die here. Someone shooting? Or is that just high speed, like, window smashing sounds? I need water. Thank god the water system is still working. Let's wait. Wait out the darkness. Getting bored? I'm bored? Are you serious? Can I have pie? That would make me unbored. Mmm, pie.
All right. I'm drowsy again. Son of a bitch. All right. Another quick nap. And then we just leave. We're going to see if we can just go to a whole other area. Maybe the zombies are being attracted by, like, all the sound of combat. Swear to God, I'm going to wake up dead. I'm still bored. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're getting out of here. It's no longer safe, guys. And the zombies are mostly going to be in the uh, urban areas. Maybe we can survive in the wild. Probably not. We need to find a store. We need to get out of the um, residential areas and find a store. Of course, if we do that, that means probably going to like even more populated areas. Son of a bitch, look at that. They're smashing windows. I can't take on three zombies at once. There's another one over there. Looks like there's a house here. Is that zombie alone? Nope. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah, sure, two at once, and we're probably going to pull in more zombies. Whoa, effective combat. Come on, kill this fucker. Come on. Nice hit to the head. Okay. Let's go inside. It's locked? It's locked? Are you serious? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Where'd you go, buddy? You know what? Let's just run. Uh, running apparently is really good at drawing zombies. Run, 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 run. No! Run, 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 run. Should just run back to the house. Okay, I'm thirsty. Still kind of panicked. I'm gonna overheat pretty damn fast. All this running. I should have started in a different season. I should have started in the middle of winter. It's Kentucky. How bad could it be? All right, we're gonna keep walking along this highway. Panic level is going down. Come on, Mary. Keep yourself together. We can do this. We definitely need some water, though. Or beer. Beer would be okay. At least she's not bored anymore. can't believe she had the nerve to become bored. I guess that's one of the things to stop you from just, like, hiding in a house all the time. I'm gonna get very thirsty. It's okay. Maybe the next town won't be as bad. Right? Maybe we can find some fresh water? Hmm. Let's go explore the woods. So folks, in our stunning conclusion to our video, running off into the woods was a very poor idea. Mary Harris is lost in the woods completely. And I have nothing to drink. I'm going to pass out from exhaustion, but I'm also, I'm just parched. I'm going to die from thirst. So I'm going to end this video here. And I'm really sorry. Uh, but apparently the woods are pretty wood-like in that they are empty and desolate and there's nothing out there that, that's going to save you. Uh, I'm pain, I've got injuries now. Dying of thirst, there we go. I'm going to die. Severe injuries, critical damage, but it's not specific injuries, it's the thirst, it's the desperate for water. Alright, let's let let's let it play through here. Oh, I'm so sad for Mary. Oh no! Oh, she's just keeled over. Survived for four days, five hours in sandbox. Killed seven zombies. Well, I guess the thing to do is you gotta, you gotta wander in town quite a bit more and, and brave the zombies. I, I don't know what a good technique is. This is my first game ever. First game of Project Zomboid. So I don't know, you know, what the suggested technique is to try to avoid them and all that. Um, but running off into the woods at this stage was definitely not the solution. No zombies, but nothing else either. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.